Hey folks, we have a MIDI editor available for the Tremcoder 2. It's especially useful for creating custom sequences. This editor was made using controller. You can download a standalone editor for Windows. You can also download a controller panel for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Controller can be used as a standalone host or run as a plugin in your DAW. Setup can vary by your system and your digital audio workstation. Keep things simple, I'll only be covering the standalone version in this video. To get started, download the editor from the Tremcoder page. The link is in the description. After installing, run the editor. Then set up your MIDI device. Click MIDI. Go down to Output Device. The happy face icon indicates the device is working properly. If you see a sad face icon, this usually means the MIDI port is being used by another application. All of the Tremcoder's parameters are available via the MIDI editor. To connect the Tremcoder to MIDI, you'll need a computer with a MIDI interface, a MIDI cable, and a TRS MIDI adapter. Earlier Tremcoders used a Type B adapter. All Tremcoders after serial number 90 use a Type A adapter. The adapter type that you need is listed on the back of the pedal. To activate the tremolo, click the bypass button. You can switch between tap tempo and manual rate modes. Here's manual rate. And here's tap tempo. You can switch to LFO mode. Or switch to sequence mode. I'm changing the sequence length to eight steps. This will only use the first eight sequence sliders. You can use the sliders to create a custom sequence. There's also a glide feature for the sequencer. This smooths out transitions between sequence steps. Change the glide amount with the warp knob. You can also change the glide type with the glide type slider. Triangle. Ramp glide. and saw glide. And that's the Tremcoder MIDI Editor. We'd love it if you could give the video a like. Subscribe to our channel if you want to keep up with Sub Decay. Thanks for watching, everyone.